What's up everybody, this is Leisure B from the Youm Workshop Collective. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some stuff that I did for the Fred 1 video that we released on YouTube. Uh, if you didn't see the Fred 1 video already, make sure you go and see it by clicking the link right here. If you didn't subscribe to our channel already, make sure you do that. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up. You want to see that? here you can see I loaded the video into the arrangement by the way the whole arrangement that you see right now is the exact arrangement that we use for the Fred video so there's no kinky stuff going on no mastering no whatever this is just what you see is what you get at the top here I got a video file dragged into Ableton um, it's very easy if you want to use video into Ableton just drag it in there as you would a normal audio clip or you could just you know get it from the file browser um, if it doesn't work then make sure you get a different video format uh, you want to get like an mp4 or a mov format um, don't want any funny AV codecs or any shit like that uh, just get your mpeg you know make sure that the guy who supplies the video is doing the right job and you will be ready to go so I drag the video in here I got a little video window down here if you don't see that after you drag the video in make sure that you check the video window in the view tab and um, you should see it you can also drag it onto a second screen or if you go big screen next to your Ableton window and we're ready to go all right at first I'm gonna play uh, the original soundtrack um, it's been done by Atechre it's called Foes In um, that's the track that Uwe originally based the video on um, I'm gonna extend the loop here so you can hear the track. I soloed it so you'll only hear the video original sound. As you can hear, I used the same intro that I did. But after that, it's a completely different thing. Start off with the drums. Um, that's where I started off myself. I got a drum group here. Usually, I like to group stuff. Go a drum group and a bass group because that's the most important stuff that's going on. And then I got a lot of synthesizer stuff going on down here, which I'll talk about later. We're gonna start off with the drums. Let me skip back just a little bit. Now what I did with the bass drum and the snare drum which I got in a battery patch here is I created the same accents that Audeche used except for with a different sound so I can skip to that right now So that's like a very different drum sound, but it accentuates the same stuff that Ateche did before. Along with that, I got an extra snare drum, which is a bit noisy and well, not very pleasant. Let me show you that. It gives a nice pitch to the rest of the bass drum snare drum sound and it makes it complete somehow in my ears along with that I got the origami kit I loaded that in a battery instrument and then I created two MIDI tracks that go into that instrument let me show you that for a bit we got one audio instrument here which is on in and I got two MIDI tracks which both lead to the battery kit I like to do that because right here I got the hi-hat and I got a couple of effect sounds and I want to separate those in the composition so that I can mute them. There's the hi-hat and the effect sounds. I like to do that so I can keep a clear overview on what I'm doing. And Now 
Now the funny thing with the second origami midi track is that uh, these sounds are very effect-like. Very rich. And uh, I timed those exactly on the clip. All the other tracks are just timed on the grid. Tied to the midi uh, beat. And the origami second track is just sound effects. I just look at what happens in the clip and everything that's not exactly on the grid gets accentuated by this track, by the purple. So we got that, and along with that I got a couple of samples, because I like to complete the drums that I make with MIDI, with some drum loops played by original drummers, that make sure that the feel of the drums is not so stock, it just gets funky with that. So I got this turnaround here, that's the orange one. And I got some heavy bass drums. And what I did with the purple part right here, the funky beat, is I timed it exactly on the bass drum and the snare drum that I used for the MIDI. So that the MIDI gets a very funky background feel to it. Also a good example is here with the brush kit. which I used a couple of brush loops. To accentuate the drums. And what I love about the brushes is that I got like a very steady low and high but no mid. So that they complete the rest of the drums very easily. Right, so that's the drums, and close up. Uh, next up, uh, I got the Sea of Cloud. I'm just gonna go one by one. Uh, I got a couple of sounds that are created for the geometric uh, shapes that I use in the video. I got one that's the Sea of Cloud, and um, that's basically the synthesizer for all the circle shapes that are in the video. And it's a very basic FM8 patch, but I put the Ableton filter on it, and along with the Ableton uh, filter modulation, the video completes it. So that's one. Then I got the blip blip blip. And uh, the blip blip blip's function is basically to accentuate the light changes or the shade changes that go on in the background. Sound reflects the light bulb. Then I got the sound that I very much love, that's the square sound. Uh, I started off with a MIDI patch. Uh, by the way, you can download all the MIDI patches um, that we used by the, clicking the link in the description of the video below. I've got a pack of the Fred 1 presets, and uh, they got all the massive presets in it that we use here, plus a couple extra, and it's very sweet. Uh, so we've got the square sound. And what you can see here is that I first used a MIDI patch and then I recorded the sound so that I could put it on the timing exactly. And 
it's not that clear here, but it'll be clear in the second yellow part down here. kind of the way I liked it but it was not that nice so what I did it was recorded it cut it apart and then moved it around a little bit so that the timing more agreed with the video because with media alone you're very much dependent on the LFOs and the step sequencers and everything and you don't want to have that if you do video stuff you really want to you know just kind of drag it around a little bit and see what works best all right so we got that and then uh, we got the maybe the most important sound it's called the minch um, it's also a massive patch that can be downloaded and fred one preset pack Solo it for you now. It's a very dynamic sound. Uh, every first four bars is very short and with a short release, and every second four bars it's like very long and uh, very much like an organ or some carnival like. And uh, we've got a couple of sound effects going on, I'll show you two of which I think are very nicely placed in the rest of the sound. First uh, we've got the tunnel scene, which is um, yeah, very Atari-like and very uh, old school. Sounds very basic, extracted from the game. Put it on the solo. These are very banal sounds. They very much accentuate the feel of the video at this point. Play that again with the rest of the sound. sound um, that's packed in with the bass group which we'll get to later so we've got a couple of thunder sounds going on here which accentuate the kind of yeah dark feel and mood of the video here as well as here at the beginning And then we've got the rest of the bass group. And very important about this is that, um, first of all, all the patches can also be downloaded in the FET1 preset pack, link below. Um, second thing is uh, maybe even more important that um, I put the fast effects on the bass group. I use the Z on the fast effects. I'm just let me just open the fast effects for you and um, show you what I mean. I got this little button that means that as soon as you press it, the bass line explodes into a sort of granular synthesizer thing. And it's very nice because I've got the whole group with all the different massive patches and all the different thunder sounds and everything. And as soon as I put the filter on, the whole thing just kind of blows apart. So from the beginning here. Open the fast effects. Now, 
look at the enable button at the Z. You can see that as soon as it's pressed, that the whole thing kind of erupts into this bass filled madness. Also, I modulate the slide, it goes up and down. The slide goes up, then the modulation goes brrrr, and if the slide is down, then the modulation goes brrrr. So that about wraps it up for the fast effects. Um, also, I used uh, on the last part of the bass line, I go a couple of different ones because every one occupies a different spectrum. As you can hear, this one is much higher than the one before. And the bottom one right here with all the modulation on it. Very much illustrates how dynamic the patch really is because it's just really, really nice sound and crispy and it's just the massive patch basically all that you want from one sound. Also, I think it's quite amazing that it just comes from a software patch, but you know. Right, so uh, that about wraps it up for the thread. Um, if you want any extra information, post it down there and I'll hope I can answer it. Um, hope this shows that you can do a lot of cool video stuff with Ableton or, you know, sound for video. Um, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and um, visit our website for more information, videos, photos, patches, whatever. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.